All right, so point of this video is to show you uh, Renishaw probing on the Fidel control. It's, it's uh, not as easy to do as in the Haas, but I think the Fidel makes up for that by having uh, the best edge finding routines available. Anyway, what I'm making here is these serrated vice jaws for a Wilton vice. And what I could do is I could make a uh, couple of stops, kind of, and just locate off the, the flats, but sometimes it's just easier to make a quick probing program. So here's the control. Uh, starting from the beginning, you basically just set your location where the probing is going to take place. In this case, I'm going to probe on the X positive side of the part. And that's the number that you see over here, this X0.9. Scrolling down, uh, you see me input these, sorry about the glare. You see me uh, clear the uh, variables here, and then I give it the X value. So actually the X is located, uh, X0 is located 0 0.705 from the edge. So I input that number in there. The R5 plus 80 over here is just simply the uh, location where I'm gonna store that number at. And you can pull that up in your tool table. It's uh, the number is stored in, in, in spot 80. And then this R7 plus two is uh, saving it to work offset two. That V50 equals one you see in the center of the screen is uh, telling the machine that I'm probing at work offset number one. And then of course the M98 P9013 is uh, selecting the single surface measure program. And then I, uh, at line 8.6, I, I just have the, the Z clearance. After that, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, two more of the same probing routine uh, in the Y axis. So you're gonna see that happen here. Just uh, go to manual, auto, hit start button. All right, here we go. And that was it. You see, there's really nothing to it. Uh, yeah, so take a look. Uh, I'm just gonna exit out, display my fixture offsets. And uh, I'd already run it earlier and you can see that it got basically the same exact numbers. Uh, this is the second position. I sorted it in offset number three. And uh, you're gonna see that 0 0.705 in the uh, tool table in spot 80 now. So yeah, you can see that, that number. Same as last time, so it's, it's all good. As a tip, uh, I'm gonna open up my program again. Yeah, T for top. Turn on G9. That's your uh, acceleration ramps. It just probes a little bit smoother. You don't get that jerky motion. Uh, and this is actually the default if you're in format one. And uh, so if you're in format two, you might as well just put that G9 in there for your probing. Uh, if you're using Fusion 360, you might as well just uh, leave it on G8 because it gives some pretty smooth lead-ins and lead-outs. I wouldn't worry about that.